Are you looking for an audiophile headphone but don't know where to start? In this brief but concise guide, I'll walk you through six options that won't break the bank, but will most certainly reinvigorate your love for music should you purchase one. By the end, you should feel much more comfortable in pulling the trigger and deciding on the one for you. So without further ado, audiophile go! Greetings comrades, Stuart Charles here, HomestudioBasics.com, helping you make sound decisions lead into a beautiful audio experience that will make you fall in love with music all over again. So let's get right into the best audiophile headphones for under $100. Make sure to check out my links below for the official Budget King series, which does change quite frequently. So keep checking back for updates as I'm constantly testing out new headphones and adding and taking away from the list. Number six, the Grado SR60E. Now there are a lot of audiophile snobs out there who really get upset over my opinion of Grados in general, even despite the fact that I still really do like the 60E outside of two kilohertz something that I have mentioned quite a number of times in my videos. If you do plan on purchasing the 60, make sure to EQ 2 killer it by about 9 dB down, please. 9 dB bumps are in no way natural to the human ear, but outside of that issue, the headphone sound signature is quite admirable with regard to mid-bass thump, sound stage, treble extension, detail, resolution, and the like. Also be aware that even with the supplied S cushions, comfort isn't the greatest in the world, yeah? There are also some people that have reported issues with build, but others have had these for years without problem. So your mileage may vary, chap. Number five, the Status Audio CB1 is a headphone that also made my top gaming list under $100, which I will also link for you above. This is a perfect all around closed back headphone that tends to sound like an open one. Spacing, detail, resolution, soundstage, bass articulation, and air are all quite lovely, and the headphone itself works in many different applications, including casual listening, mixing and mastering, as well as watching film and playing video games. It's a jack of all trades and shouldn't be overlooked, even despite its meager price tag. Comfort on this bloke is also quite nice, with its soft and supple protein leather and modest clamp force. Highly recommended in all regards, mate. Number four. The AKG K240 is a classic headphone that's withstood the test of time and comes in many forms. The newer Chinese model 240S, or Studio, is the easiest and cheapest to get your hands on nowadays, but I urge you to have a go at the 600 ohm version if you may, as it sounds incredibly pure and original, with its unique 5K bump rendering it absolutely perfect with older tracks, including Motown, Soul, and the like. It simply sounds heavenly and it's just about the most natural, effortless sound I've ever heard out of a headphone. The K240 sports the famed hammock style adjustment, and it mostly fits pretty well in your noggin, but do be aware of those shallow cups as you will be adjusting them from time to time. Still, this headphone is one that should be in everyone's cabinet, with its buttery like resolution and incredible detail, not to be forgotten about. If you fancy a go, hit that link down below, yeah? Number 3. The Creative Avarna Live, or Cal for short, has recently replaced the Audio Technica ATHM 40X in my written examination due to its more natural presentation and better overall resolution. While the M40X is mid bass with somewhat overdone like your mom's meatloaf, the Cal remedies this by rendering the overall sound signature more natural and effortless. Its treble doesn't sound metallic and essy like the M40X's did, and because it's more neutral, it works for a wider variety of genres and applications. The build is about what you pay for, but the headphone is super lightweight and comfy on your noggin. Highly recommended for those beginner audiophile snobs who think they know everything already. Number two, the Sony MDR7506 recently replaced the original MDR V6 from 1985 in my written review, which has now been discontinued after 35 years. The sound signatures on these are roughly the same. If you're unaware of what this hobby is about and only have about $100 to spend, the 7506 will get you 95% of the way there for a fraction of the cost of what other headphones sell for. Putting one of these on for the first time is like taking layers and layers of blankie off of the sound to the point where you're likely to pause the track and say something along the lines of, wow, so this is what music is supposed to sound like. This headphone was my quote unquote first good headphone for mixing beats and since then I haven't really looked back. It's a can that you'll frequently find yourself reaching for due to its clean sound, articulate bass, and ability to render small details with ease. The treble will get hot, but the mid-range in my estimation is quite perfect. The only thing holding this headphone back from the number one spot is the ear cups and the coiled cable, both of which become a pain after about a year or two. The pads will flake and peel, and may even become dislodged from the headphone altogether. The cable itself also has a tendency of becoming tangled over time, but by and large this headphone sound is one that you'll likely never forget. Still highly recommended, chap! Number one. The Philips SHP9500 is quite simply the best value in audio, and has no business being under $100.
By the way, Jarag placed its value at around 200 to be quite honest. Most everything about it is perfect for its price, including the rugged build, incredible comfort levels, and an almost dead neutral sound outside of the sometimes peaky upper mid slash low treble that many audiophiles like to complain about. Bass is a bit light, similar to the K240, but it's incredibly articulate and textured, to the point where you can actually hear bass notes that you may have missed in other headphones. I also found myself astonished at the quality of the bass in indie pop and hip hop in particular. These are definitely not shy and will hit quite nicely when called upon. All in all, the 9500 is still a fantastic purchase and also works great for gaming and film due to its excellent soundstage width and depth and ability to image very well with solid directional cues. I find myself frequently looking around in bewilderment at times, hyper aware of exactly where the sound is coming from, but still with the illusion that it's outside of my head. If someone claims that the 9500 sucks for gaming and doesn't have a great soundstage well, they're lying! Well, that's about it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, top audiophile headphones for under $100 discussion and are now better equipped to decide on one. Leave me some love down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. If you like what I do here and you want to support the channel in a more personal way, hit that Patreon link down yeah. below. And last but not least, don't forget to ask me about my grandchildren, yeah? yeah? Uh, and don't feed the yeah. troll, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. For all the fake rappers yeah. out there. Check. Uh, check. Yeah. Smokey Robinson, one time, yeah. Yeah. old school man. Check. Esoteric Eric, yeah. yeah. Uh, Yo, who's that? Check it. Check, 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 Who is check it? Yeah. 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 It's Stu Black, here I am with the review once, once again sure. By this point you gotta know I'm deadly with the pen Woo. You wanna battle me? Sh I'll gladly take the win You whip a caddy, but it's wrecked I'm rolling fatties and I'm spent Call me Lassie, I'm legit, I save the day But I'm no fever pitch, I'm kinda sick I spit retarded, I'm autistic and it fits I'm like a kid on Christmas morning It's a cinch, you overthinking it again I'm dropping with some in a pinch I know you listening to this Cause I be ripping it to bits I get the gavin, I'm on my sh I'm popping red pills and I'm rich I'll make you quiver with my lips, I'll make you Shiver with my standards, it's a hit like Sinatra in the mob. I come equipped a little bit like Tech Nine. I keep it lit, a fire sign. I'm dangerous, out of control. I majored in, I play to win. Do me a favor and just quit. My 